What's happening today, Guardians? Hey, I wanted to go ahead and just do an after patch review of Fabian's strategy. It was actually the first uh, exotic that I picked up whenever I came back into uh, into Destiny once we got done with that patch. Now, of course, as y'all probably know, kills with this weapon now automatically load a portion of the magazine and increase base range by plus 16% and stability by 44%. So, guys, let's go ahead and hit up exactly how this thing was performed. Before we get started, though, if we can go for another thousand likes, man. Oh, shit, dude, that shit. It just looks sexy when I just come and check on all them videos, man. Nothing like 1K, man. Just a nice, a nice good one triple, triple zero right after that, man. That's exactly what I want to see on everything. So let's go and hit up some gameplay, guys. So two things happen here with Fabian strategy. It falls into that mid rate of fire uh, weapon. So that mid rate of fire autos all got a 1.5% damage buff. Uh, you know, that sounds good. Really 1.5% is just nothing to just jump up and down about. Either way though, it combines really well with what Fabian was also given with that 44% stability and 16% range. Now let's talk a little bit about how it was working gameplay wise, man. I was really liking it as far as zone control goes, dude. I would lay my bubble down like I would before but the ability to be, be able to melt people before they can get to me was just so amazing and having that continuous ammo uh go in and out with the, with the getting the the different kills and, and just being able to transition easily without having to reload was really nice as well but let's go ahead and recognize real quickly what the limitations of fabian strategy is So the automatic reloading portion of the magazine is a pretty nice perk to have. As far as what I've seen right here, it's anywhere between six to nine rounds that can be relo reloaded back to it, uh, which comes in extremely uh, handy, especially when you're in team events and stuff like that, and you don't have time to reload. I got this guy right here. He got tethered. I ate him up, and then one other guy jumped in real quick, and I was able to keep going, man, and no problems with reloading or anything like that. So it's a really nice perk to have. Another reason why they put this perk on there is so that you can truly take advantage of crowd control for the longest time people complain well by the time they would actually get crowd control the proc the fight you had to stop you had to reload and so this really gives you the ability to take over crowd control and utilize that which is a nice thing to have so i know we tend to focus on pvp on this channel uh but i had to go in and take it up into pv and see how it does and let me tell you guys this has become probably the top tier weapon in pve it's as if you're willing super good advice but you're wielding it in your primary that's right guys so i mean the uh the thing is as long as you can kill something within four to five rounds you just you never run out of ammo man and uh i've, I've yet to see a weapon i mean it's kind of like Zalo supercell in a way too where it just eats people up but this thing it can just i don't know it could just keep going and with crowd control proc and front lines all of those things going into play man uh here in in pve dude it's just turned into a, a power weapon uh, i was using it in today's daily and i was just so impressed with it um I mean, Fabian is really they did a really good job with the ammo perk that was that was one thing that I was really surprised about and and to see them bring that into it and to bring it into such a strong way for it to become a power weapon in PvE makes me excited to see what we're going to get out of the raid because obviously they're leaning for us to use this auto rifle more especially in PvE stuff. Well, fellas, that is your Fabian strategy review after patch. And I will say this, man, if you really want to get good at Fabian strategy, you're going to have to become aggressive. That's just one thing about Fabian strategy and, and any PvP or PvE related stuff. You will be on the front line. There's a reason why that perk is called that. And uh, especially in PvP, I see so many people, they don't push, they don't do anything like that. They sit back too much and then they wonder why they don't perform well with this auto rifle. It rewards those that are truly aggressive, which fits the, the persona of what you are as a titan. So that's just, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool how it wraps together. But at the end of the day, we've got to look at what was done to it. And I'm glad that they gave the buffs that it gave to it. Uh, making it a better weapon, especially in the tier that it falls under and the archetype that it falls under. I'm glad that I'm going to be using more of this weapon. Uh, and again, especially in PvE, guys. Anyways, fellas, if you're new to the channel, man, uh, subscribe, dude. We put out shit all the time. Um, we're going to be going over just about everything that was in the uh, in the most recent update to, to go over all the different things that, that 
are working after patch and how they're going to be doing and uh, we also hit up the new exotic if you haven't seen my other video I got one out about trespasser right now received it last night and that is a hell of a sidearm man anyways fellas thanks so much for coming to watch I'll catch you guys later slap that like button like your mama told you right